Wait, can you actually get Undertale Yellow on Steam? Oh, yeah, I can actually. Let me go ahead and fire up maybe this one here. So I've got Undertale in the window behind here. Let me hide the game. There we go. So on Steam right here, up here in the top corner, if you go ahead and hit games, you can add a non-Steam game to my library. You add it through the Game Jolt client, and then it pops up in your Steam library right here. And if you are using a PlayStation controller uh, as a gamepad, like I am right now, you are able to actually use it in this game. It doesn't support PlayStation, annoyingly. It only appears to support the really annoying gamepads. I don't like gamepads too much. I'm not a big gamepad guy. Okay, so we have probably outgrown this place now that we've got a new hat, right? Howdy! Okay, we'll do a save. So, how do we progress? Do we just kind of like come in here and just release the guard? Let's see. Oh, hey, I'm in here to give Martlet some food, that's all. It isn't mealtime yet, but I thought she would enjoy something. So, you don't need to worry about her. I'll make sure she's treated as well as one in jail can be treated. This is for the best. Okay, uh, I bet she's throwing seeds through the bars and stuff. I can't find Undertale Yellow on Steam. Yeah, you can't find it on Steam. I just said that it's through Game Jolt. You download it onto your machine through Game Jolt, and then you go and add on uh, through your game library. You add it as a non-Steam game. That will add it into your Steam library as a non-Steam game. It's not a Steam game. I might need to download it again. Yeah, you will have to. Why the Bourbon Prison? Uh, uh, quite frankly, she disagreed with the local constabulary. It's so boring in here. Did they at least give me something to do? All I have is brainstorming puzzle ideas in my head. I recently had an idea for a third molten rock puzzle, so that's fun. Okay, yeah, it isn't fun. What is interesting is the noise I heard a little while ago. I heard a loud snap, which awoke me from a nap. Before I realized what had happened, the other prisoner was gone. I tried to talk to them when I first arrived, but got no answers. Now not only am I in jail, I have no cellmate to talk to. All in all, this day is going fantastic for me. That was sarcasm, by the way. That bird was being sarcastic. Ah, here he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, go away before I'm caught. I mean, I was released by Star. Yeah, no problems here. Okay, I've got a new hat and I'm calling Cap. That confused me a little bit. We went to do a different area and then we came back through and I was kind of like led into a different zone. Hey, friendo. Howdy, howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? Yes, swell. Ten is the original plans were altered. We got some catching up to do. Let's gather the others. <laughs> Group up, everyone. I love those scene transitions right there. Thank you very much for the fish emoji there, FPE, Miss Circle. Can you be a DJV here? Huh? As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star! Look, sea Lover looks so much better now. I agree. Sea Lover's looking like a real Wrangler. For sure. That new gun is awfully shiny. I had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. That was real tough, too. Good old Jack in his place, I did. You gotta send me in to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. Hmm. Totally. This is a mission Right you are, Ed. What other mission would it be other than the one we skipped before? Get ready, sea lover. Mission two, the dangerous duel. I am still a child. It's time for us to duel. You mean duel? That's what I said. No, you pronounced it with a UA sound instead of an ooh sound. But is it a skipping game like Gabby Crash? Duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato and all that. Y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. It upsets my frontier sin. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to participate in a carefully timed shooting competition. Mooch, provide Clover with the designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll uh, take that six shooter off your hands for now. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what I was gonna do, Moray. Get off my back, will ya? All right. It's finally time to go head to her. Wait. What is it, Ace? What could possibly go pressing to interrupt the mission again? You've got the safety glasses. Yeah, boys. You get her closer. Right. I take responsibility and I apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. Red flames clash with my uniform. Here. Now we're in business! Alrighty, Clover. 
We're gonna take ten paces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. Okay, this is gonna be easy. We look like Velma before she got blackwashed. Uh. I got shot. Ah, uh, too bad. Let's try one more time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta wait for the signal. All right, it ain't fair. Let's try one more time. All right, fine. Damn, this baby gun hits like a truck. Wow, wait. I'm 10 years old. Yeah, I, I had a, a sneaky suspicion. Uh, usually when somebody goes uh, out to advertise a place, a you have something called a geological restriction on your marketing. So it's very, very obvious um, that somebody's uh, quite young when they go around and advertise outside of the demographic when they are geologged, um, unfortunately. Uh, when, when you do marketing, you generally want to advertise to a demographic who can actually enjoy your products. For example, um, I probably wouldn't advertise, say, uh, like if, if I was paid to market yogurt, I probably wouldn't be specifically targeting people uh, who are in A&E with lactose allergies, right? It's, it's, it's one of those things. It's marketing 101. You'll figure it out when you get older. It gets way easier. The stream is lagging? No, it is not, my dude. Mooch funny squirrel? Also, why it sound like that? Because his tongue is huge! His tongue is huge! Sir, sir, are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, star. I'm so sorry. Who, who will you give your inheritance to? Wait, did we shoot him with a real gun? Not you, pig. <laughs> sea lover, this was your emotional drama test. This job ain't all swelter, stones, and rainbows, you understand. You might end up hurting someone and must carry the weight on your back. Hope I didn't scar you. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Nice. It kind of does actually remind me of the first time I went to Airsoft. Because uh, when I went to Airsoft the first time, I, I had lots of adrenaline. And thus, whenever I shot my rifle, the BBs would like miss everybody because I was like real shaky and stuff. And then a few game days in, I had my own gear. I had uh, like an M9 replica pistol. I would literally be chasing after people, death course screaming at them. And when they turned to run away because they'd recognize me as a, as a person, I would pull out my pistol, I'd shoot them in the back. So... <laughs> Like, it, it does, it is kind of actually like this. It is kind of like this, in Airsoft specifically, not real life. Here's your iron. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. I don't want to give you my glasses. Come on. Am I the only one that thinks Moray looks like Dark World Chris on a budget? I'll, I'll take a look. What the hell is this thing? I love this place. It has a great sense of community. There's not much like it anywhere else. There's a new friend to make every time I go outside. Never too many friends for old Cooper. Oh, Sly Cooper, I get it, yeah. That's a retro ass game. Okay, we'll come up here. Give him stuff. I just downloaded Undertale Yellow. You're gonna love it. There's like three routes in it, according to the developers. The Dunes is the best part. What the hell is this thing? Oh, is that the foreman? Yo, it's good. Hello! Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge or anything. I'm in town visiting my little moray. My lovely wife, Angie, is running the mines while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. Ah, it's a risk worth taking. Yeah, when I was a kid, when I was like... When I was real young, uh, my mum was a bartender for my stepfather who owned a pub. So I spent a lot of my time actually at pubs as well, so... You know, I, I kind of understand the apprehension to seeing a child in a pub, but I also understand that most people just kind of brush it off, and they're all like, oh, that's just the, the bar owner or the waitress's kid or something like that. What time is it for me? It is... Uh... Half past three. Found about half past three or so. Why can't I talk to him? Hello? Welcome back, partner. We're about halfway done with your training. They grow up so fast. Ready to continue? Damn straight I am. Follow me. You know the drill, team. Ain't no time to be lazing around. Oh! Oh, that's what the fortune teller said! The fortune teller said there was gonna be a tumbleweed! Uh, hello? Where is everyone? Sorry about this, sea lover. It should be here any second now. <coughs> Sir, what is happening on the west end of town? I don't know, how about we go there? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are! By George, this must be an attack from Vigil Virgil. 
Vengeful Virgil? Who is that? Soroba, come on. We drew his wanted poster last month. It's something you was bored. You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything. Uh, oh yeah, well, you'd better go stop them then. What are you waiting for? That's the spirit. Let's put a stop to this sea lover. Mission three? I love the screaming eagle. What the hell is a kilometer? Stalo about to get his ass cooked? It's 10, 12 at night? Yeah. Huh. You sure you saw something troubling here? Look down. Oh! It's the trolley problem! I actually know the answer. Hey, I did not say you finished. Get me out of here! Hey, give it down! I need focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Just untie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? This is scary, Star. I'm afraid you must choose which shack the cha the train travels on. Yeah, choose, Ed! Midge, you are dead to me! Unless Star chooses, you instead. This code. This is all too overwhelming. I can't do it! They don't receive every juice! Whoops, wrong guy. Of course! Sea lover, don't have no emotional attachment to y'all! Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? Nah, it's easy! Choose to leave the track as is. It won't be your fault, but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track. It'll be by your hand that only Ed gets hit. Not as much of a sacrifice. What are you doing this? So this is uh, quite a famous little concept called a trolley problem, where you basically are presented with exactly what you're seeing right here. Um, the train is going for the five people organically, or uh, and it will hit them. It will kill all five of them, and if you don't stop them, you'll have to live with that. If you change the tracks, and you hit the one person to save the five, you have to live with the fact that you pulled the lever yourself to kill somebody. I'm tired, go to, go to sleep then. <laughs> I'm a pacifist, but when certain ice cap pisses me off, I got a pacifist. <laughs> I actually love that. I'm gonna steal that as a phrase. Okay. I know the answer, by the way. We're out of time. If only we could have untied everyone. If only. You gotta choose now, sea lover. Okay. Uh, yes, okay, so it, it, it is a philosophical conundrum, right? Do you take the guilt onto yourself to kill the one person to save five, or do you stay away, say, that's not my problem, and say, I'm not gonna save those five people. What do we do? What, like, what do we do? Because quite frankly, this ain't a me problem. This ain't a me problem. Look, look, I didn't put them there. It's not my responsibility. I don't care. I'm just letting it happen. <laughs> it's just a guy in a box. Ouch! You owe me for this. Clover. Thought we were friends. Eh, I'm okay with it. Now, now. This decision was a tough one. Having the casualty to be on your hands is a lot to handle mentally. There's a lot more to it than that, Star. This is a deep scenario that requires a lot of thinking. We don't have time for thinking. This was a test of judgment and sea lover passed. Passed? How exactly? Hey, what do you need? To the car? They should be in the bedroom. Yep. You can see it just came in for the car keys, which hilariously I put exactly where they belong! Girlfriend! She probably heard that as well. I'm probably in deep trouble now. Pass? How exactly? Ah, we've been so technical about everything, Mori. Sea lover saved Ed. That's pretty good. I gotta tell you that was an answer. Anywho, I'll see you at the usual spot, kid. I bet everybody's like logic would be that Ed is a pretty big guy and he's more likely to stop the train himself, right? This is countdown? No, nah, it's fine. That's fine! My name is Terry. Uh, my dude, don't give out your real name without knowing anybody on the internet. That's called doxing and it will bite you in the ass eventually. <laughs> I might think so hard. Yeah, come to me when you're ready for a final mission. Uh, see you around. You shouldn't be going around introducing your, uh, your real name to people because people can use that against you, especially if you don't know a streamer like just stay for a while stay for a while get a feel for the person and then kind of like engage with them after that then we're gonna untie us hell no i'm not ain't my problem i hit the lever now <laughs> uh 
More ace face, though. Guys, what's wrong with me if I'm not tired at night, but I'm tired at day? Uh, you're a night owl. It's literally as simple as that. Howdy. Okay, my patience is only so strong, sea liver. I only hope you're not planning to actually stay here. These bozos are below you. I highly suggest to you that you make a run for it when the time's right. Try not to let yourself get distracted from the real mission. Who was that? That's Yin Set. That is my partner. We've been dating seven years now, and uh, we're still very happy together. Why are they getting run over? It just happens. It just happens. You might have insomnia, but not sure. I ain't no doctor. No, insomnia is the inability to sleep. I have clinical insomnia, and I am medicated for it. Uh, that is, it's, that's not insomnia. And so, <laughs> there are some people who have something called a circadian rhythm. Uh, and that circadian rhythm generally is sunlight to sundown. And after sundown, your circadian rhythm starts telling your body, hey, it's, it's probably time to get ready to sleep, right? Because you want to be up at the crack of dawn tomorrow to go hunt or gather or whatever you need to do from an evolutionary standpoint. But it's, it's as simple as that. Other people have different circadian rhythms, and some people are just built as night owls. It's as simple as that. Um, other than that, just uh, look it up. Bro might be a vampire. Yep, vampires have nighttime circadian rhythms. Have you ever heard of Undertale Bits and Pieces? If not, you should definitely stream it. I've never heard of it in my life. I've never heard of such a concept whatsoever. I hope it's not like, I hope it's bits and pieces like, not, not like Pork Crackling. I don't like Pork Crackling. What does this horse have to say? Sorry, I only had time to write one jingle. It took me all night. Maybe I'll think of another soon. That last line wasn't a joke, by the way. Being a horse is my only form of true expression. Yeah, I've got a friend like that, actually, Epic Flying Horse. He's got 65 or so thousand subscribers. Humble brag, humble brag. I'm friends with the streamer. <laughs> it's the same thing everybody can say who comes onto my stream and stays for a few days. Okay, we come all the way over here and there's nothing for us, it seems. See, lover, finally someone gets it. Finally, someone gets me. Three people have tried to correct me on that one. I have school tomorrow. Uh, have yourself a, a, a go go down to the Senate Sandbar. Have yourself a nip of whiskey. That'll get you to sleep. Nay, nay, horse that talks. I was wondering if he was going to say anything useful, but nay, he did not. Finally, someone gets it. Astigmatism. Yeah, nice. Hey. Hmm. No, oh, it's you. Sorry, I was just looking at Star's videotapes. Mostly human-made westerns that found their way here. That and the classic Aerobics 4-5. That one gets used often. Man, these really take me back. I remember the day Star ran from Waterfall with these in his arms. Especially Zumba. Zumba! Zumba! He had these two weights with him. He looked like an absolute asshole as well. What an idiot. He was ecstatic. I recall it being strange to see him act that way. He must have watched them all forward and backward 50 times over, especially Zumba. When Kanako came around, he'd watch them with her just as me. Uh, uh, yeah. There you got movies, is what I'm getting at. Okay, I imagine Star had some kind of dead wife of sorts, and that's his beef with Virgil, right? Let's get over invested in it. Let's come up here. We'll talk to this dickhead. Hey, what's up? Howdy. Man, am I excited for this? Have you done everything you wanted? Got some bandits, save some lives. Nope. Hurry it on up then. Uh, what is this guy doing? He has no arms. Is he armless? So, you're the new kid, eh? I've heard the town's raving about you and all. Not to burst your bubble, but I could totally go toe to toe with you. <laughs> because he doesn't have arms. I know for a fact that I could win in an arm wrestle with you right now, no training. Uh, okay. If I wanted, I could snap all 13 of my fingers and get the deputy position. If that upsets you, I'm not sorry. Eh. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't cross me if I were me. Okay, we've also got a mug here. What's up? Hey, would you look at that? If it ain't our fresh recruit. How's it going, kid? You giving the shufflers a good name out there? Nope. You know, it's tough being a world-renowned gang leader. I shot dead a dancer when I knew no one could see us do it. I gotta run around the underground every now and then. Make sure we're being properly represented, you know? You ain't getting respect like us by lazing around, kid. Yo, okay. Okay. Bits and sea pieces. My Wi-Fi was cut off? That sucks. That sucks. Does my teacher ban the word skibbity? I'm so done. Oh, that's for the best, honestly. It's, it's for the best. Um, in a few, like, months, that word is literally just going to be as cringe as dabbing. I'll show you what a dab looks like so that you can get the feel of cringe inside of you for what people feel when they see someone say skibbity. Are you ready? Boom! Boom, boom! 
dabbing right there. That cringe you feel right now is what everybody feels every time they hear the word skibbity come out of your mouth. Howdy! Man, I'm excited for this. Have you done everything you wanted? Got some bandits, saved some lives? Yes. Let's get going then! Nice! Final call! Get on over here! Are y'all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, bring it to your work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. So, sea lover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the regiment. Anyway, you best everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Wait, deputy? I thought this was for a normal spot on the team. Sea lover is too special and skilled for a normal spot. Sir, this is hardly fear. Life ain't always fair in the wild east, dickhead. They pass their training like anyone else. This is training. Be better than I do. This is business business business. Calm down, will you? They're killing my good mood. I have to run to the mines to get the sea lover's badge made. Saved it. I was too busy with everything that it slipped my mind. You five had fun. I'll be right back. Oh, this is awkward. This is just fancy. You guys just dance in your head. You guys just run to the and just turn into your dead to We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lesser lessons. Lessons, for short. For me to become part of the team, Sam made me walk around with a snake in my boot for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, and it made me pickpocket monsters by the oasis. Sudden make you do that. <laughs> ah, well, when there's uh, accountability to be taken, why not give some, huh? The Ed voice is making me cringe so hard. He's got a huge tongue. You don't discriminate against Ed just because he's different. Finally, some real excitement. IC4, here we come. Time to get feisty! Alright, I'm gonna kill Ed. I'm gonna put him out of his misery because his tongue is just way too big. You guys are right. Okay, we missed that shot. Oh, I see. Uh, no, I should. I really shouldn't. We're not really taking any damage though, are we? We're only taking one damage at a time. It smells like teamwork. Okay, let's try and get the hang of this revolver. Okay, we got one of them off. What's going on? Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. What? Those are actual swords. What are you doing? Ah, uh. uh, my game space has been restricted. I can just wait in this corner, I bet. Good. Smells like teamwork. Nice. Don't kill any of them. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, damn it. I always think it's faster than it is because I play Deltarune. Mm. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, okay. It's got the Deltarune um, little icon on the back of all of those cards. The four are bickering. Oh, well, boom, 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 and boom. I got all six. 50, that's it. Great hugging, Clover. Hello there, squirrel. It's my time to shine. Whoa, piss off. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I like this, I like this. It pounds his fist together triumphantly. Okay, we're gonna shoot Mooch. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. It's clicked. The combat has clicked ish. And we also gain HP by that. This is a training to experience. You didn't even pay your day, kid. Uh, what are the fingers for? He grabbed me with one. There was. How the hell is anyone supposed to dodge that? Oh, I see. We gotta kinda like uh, circle around one of them. More right lens on Ed to rest up. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Nice! 60 damage, very cash money. Love it. Hello, what's your name? Nice attack, Edward. You're doing a good job as well, sea lover. Ready for this? Or what? What, don't move. Oh, come on. I was moving! All right, fine, we're going to shoot her. Okay, I think we whiffed one of those shots. Excellent! 42 damage. Nice. 
You can't kill the feisty four, by the way. The game won't let you. My gym teacher doesn't know what Big D means, so he calls good students a Big D. <laughs> nice. That is, that is actually really funny. The, I have a little bit of trauma to share with everybody. When I was in high school, uh, my first uh, like couple of days in high school, I met one of my uh, PE teachers. His name was Mr. Matahari. And he told me that uh, if your ding -a -ling doesn't hang halfway down your legs, then you've got a small ding -a -ling. And I thought, oh... Well, I'm just average then. And he was obviously taking the piss. Uh, well, that's probably more of a humble flex than, than trauma. It still stands though. I actually thought that the human penis was supposed to be like this big, normally, right? So weird. Super Mario Wahoo attacks. Guys, how is he over four, 40 HP? What, have you not played the game? All right, use your trump cards. Fine. What is this? What? What the hell? Oh, that's obnoxious. Smells like teamwork. Okay. Why are we talking about meat? It was a little bit of, it was a fun little bit of trauma I thought I'd share with everybody. My turn, my turn. It was actually, it, it made a huge impact on my self-esteem as well for years. All right, what is she gonna do? We're play, we are literally playing the opposite of Subway Surfers right now. I don't, I don't mean to point this out, but we're playing the opposite of Subway Surfers. The frog deciding who attacks next. Uh, well, I'm going to shoot them dead while we decide for ourselves. Nice. Eat glass, squirrel. Nice. Uh, Moray, right, let's team up for an attack. Do, are we just, do we just have to survive this? I would be on it. Whoa. Okay, that hand missed me. Excellent. Whoa, damn it. It got me on the return. The four are bickering. Okay, I'm going to shoot Moray. Probably should have shot Ed. I missed it anyway. All right, a giant ace. Ugh, Mooch. Of course I'll help you, Ace. Don't be so kind next time. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, damn it. Those little hearts are potent as hell. More I sharpens their blade. Okay, I'm going to shoot Ace. Because I don't feel bad about it. Boop, 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 boop. The timing for the six-shooter six is actually really annoying. All right, we're back to Ed. Well done, Ed. Yeah, 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 so my target to death. Hey! Hey, man! What in the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here? It's not your talent, we can't let you. Then we're gonna say that it's a real talent. I'm disappointed in you four. Eight weeks of lessons for this. I gotta lock you away with feathers. Stop, what's going on? You've been different. A real meanie? It's true, this hasn't been any fun. What are you all blabbering about? This is the most alive the sound has ever been! Well, it doesn't seem like to be a spectator, huh? I bet they all got dead. I feel the dealer. You bet you could make a dead and you have just a long little thing! It didn't turn savage and reckless. I should not call you by your real name, should I? Stingly! Why you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? It seems my posse didn't respect me no more! It's not that. We just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what all this is about. Y'all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Sea lovers shot circles around you and you just can't accept it. Sea lover has nothing to do with this, it's you. Yeah, they tell you what. They are the cheapest gear in everything. In fact, I think I should carry the whole squad on the run. Who knows us when you got a powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm dead. It's a dead to the feisty five, okay? Really now? It'll still be the feisty five without you, so still go ahead. Do you know you dumb dickhead? <laughs> Mooch is such a funny little clip maniac goober. Yeah, it's a fiendish four now. Very good. I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. Okay, bye. What about you, fish? Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Not for me, it's not. <laughs> Fine, I was considering firing y'all anyway. Taroba, you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. Salo, they're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but 
This wild east thing has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlo. That's not Starlo to you. Okay, this guy chooses to hide behind a facade of escapism. Well, everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I, I need to think. I can fix this. Awkward! <laughs> Howdy! I was afraid things would escalate. Nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. Okay, so we could help him, but I think it's better just to leave, right? Lona! <laughs> Lona! Sarah's fifth because he's the leader? Not anymore. Lona! <laughs> okay, we're just we're just moving on. I'm not I'm not even gonna get involved with that. Howdy! I was hoping Star Little ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for you. Okay, thanks, Flowey. I'll shoot him in the face until he dies. I can't wait. I'm excited. Ah, mustache here. Got a mustache here up my nose, guys. Okay, what's in here? Why is this all floating? Is this supposed to be a gigantic canyon chasm? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Me? Not to say. Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain. The monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn, I tried to cheer Saroba up. I just wanted Kanako off her mind. I'm just trying my best to honor her memory. Aren't distractions what's best for all of that? No! It's not! You! Why do you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. This all happened after you showed up. Ed specifically mentioned you as the problem! That's right! I was just being a good friend! I made you who are yet this... Uh, I made you who... I made you who... I made you who you are! Yet this is what I get! Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here forever, kid. Word would've gotten out that Feathers hadn't clocked in eventually. Feathers! Wait a minute. Royal guards like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure. I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the Wild East, but the entire underground. I'd... Clover, you've been an excellent deputy, but as a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded into my my true duty. Don't, don't make this difficult for me. Just hold. Still! We just got wrangled. Damn, that sucks. Which round? Yeah, neutral. Bro thinks he's the main villain? He does think he's the main villain. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you know everyday bandits, so get ready. Oh, no! Not a gun! Showdown. Okay, we're gonna kill him. You should have been nice to your friends, dickhead. Huh, even tied up, you're skilled. I sure have an eye for talent. What? I don't know how I dodged that first one. Stellos lasso grips you tightly. Okay, I'm gonna fight him again. Bang, 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 bang. Eat broken glass, ass hat. <laughs> Still, part of me wishes that things could have stayed the way they were. I'm not sure I'm gonna lose this. I think I'm gonna beat him first go, to be honest. He is a cool boss fight though, I really like him. A tumbleweed rolls by and says hello. Hello, tumbleweed! Everybody say hello to the tumbleweed. Boom, 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 and boom. Boom, boom, into your face! Why'd you have to set foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. Dynamite! No! That's a dangerous thing! No! Although apparently it's edible. A tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. Hello! Okay, let's do the Lord's work. I'll show you there is a guard. <laughs> I'd be surprised if anyone gets that reference. This is the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Huh! Why? Oh. Oh, I'm on the wrong end of it. I didn't realize that there was a right end of it. Uh, uh, what's my dingle there? A tumbleweed rolls by. It says hello. Hello! Boom. 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 Nice. Ah! I didn't expect actual TNT. A gun? 
No! Not a gun and a bomb! That is so dirty. I think, like, going right to the top of the, the fight sequence actually seems good. Smells like leather boots and dashing looks. Where the hell are you going to find that in the West? Everybody looks like they're, um, all sunbeaten and damaged. There we go. Nice. Quit screaming so much. No! Okay. Bing bong! Salo's lasso grips you tightly. That's nice of it. Oh, apparently that was a miss. Sea lover, you gotta understand. Okay. Salo's fingers itch for his six shooter. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom! Halfway done. Come on! Give it up already! Watch out! There's choo choo trains everywhere! There's so many choo choo trains! Stello's fingers itch for his six shooter. Why doesn't he pull it out? Good. I mean, we are firing literally an entire clip at him at once. Every single round. Okay. Fine. I didn't want to use this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Uh, <laughs> stay still! <laughs> it didn't work. I don't want to hit my lasso. It's just rope, my dude. It's just rope. You can always get more rope. Rope is literally sold everywhere. There we go. It's sold at hardware stores. It's sold in, um... It's, it's sold in supermarkets. You can buy it out of the back of that ice cream truck that um, comes by with... Uh, they're always closed for some reason, but you you can always buy it from them. They always sell it for a pretty good rate, actually. As long as you also buy the duct tape. Stay still! Don't want to hit my lasso. Okay. I'm still going to shoot him. Bang, 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 bang. Now this is what I call a gunfight. Boom! Got the guns out. What? Don't shoot me! Stay still! I don't want to hit my lasso. This guy's not very good. This guy actually kind of sucks ass at his job. And whoops! Missed the last one. Oh no, he's shooting! Ah! Stay still! How many has he shot at us? Has he got a semi-automatic or something? One, two, three, four, five, and six. He gave us this gun as well. All right, good. Get away from that. Great. He still wants us to stay still. What an ass hat. Bang, 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 bang. Nice. Is that him down? No, one more round. I moved. All right, we got to get a real good one-liner, right? I got it. I got it. I missed. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't actually say the one-liner. That was so close. <laughs> okay, good. We're going to do it this time. Hey, ass butt. Ugh. <laughs> oh, guess I had this coming. If only I wore my safety goggles. <laughs> How did you land every single shot in my eyes? I... I can't lie. I'm not ready. Let my parents know. I'll be away for a while. See you around, kid. No, you won't. 500 experience and 50 gold? Woo! You can easily kill him? Yeah, he was super easy, wasn't he? Broken glass, bell gun, trains, and TNT. Stay still for a second so he hits his lasso. Oh, I never considered that. That's not a bad idea. Okay, we'll try then um, one of the harder runs. Hey, sea lover. You seen my brother? <laughs> Have you seen Starlo? Uh... Uh, honesty is the best policy. 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 Ah, uh, but I did just murder him and that's a crime. Uh, honesty is the best policy. Mm, but it's a, it's a, it was a felony. We just, we just shot somebody dead. We shot somebody dead. It was self-defense. It was self-defense. It was self-defense. I'm sorry. It wasn't your fault this happened. Don't apologize. I gotta find out where he went. I haven't seen him anywhere since the breakup. That's the most upset he's been in quite some time. I'm worried. I'll speak to his family up ahead. Maybe they know something. See you later. No? What the hell do you need me no? Oh, genocide route next. Uh, we're probably going to play all routes eventually, but I'm going to do them all in one sitting, okay? What do you mean no? Clover! 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 That's a robot. I wonder where she's off to in such a hurry. Oh yeah, hi. So I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Zoroba, an old acquaintance of mine, freed me. I can see that you two have already met. She knows I won't tell Ascor about this, so no worries. Now that's taken care of. The bad news. 
I witnessed you commit a, mor a murder. <laughs> I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the Royal Guard will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava is totaled. It was their property. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Trust me, this will help you in the long run. And I know you're tough enough to handle yourself. I'll send you a message where to meet back up, alright? Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this, but I'll see you later. Okay, goodbye! Bye bye, bird! Everyone say bye to the bird. Wrong option. What do you mean, wrong option? It's a video game. You choose your path, you stick with it. Howdy! You're becoming a pro at this, buddy. At this rate, you'll be able to confront Asgor himself. Yeah, I think we will be able to. Let's shoot glass into Asgore's face and see how he likes it. Oh, finally, we're leaving sand. As much as I like sandy environments, I only like it in moderation. Hey, this is that place that they mentioned earlier with the corn farm. No, the cellar is locked. Must be where the harvest is stored. Uh, we don't know that. That's got to be a true pacifist run place to go, right? Into that cellar right there. You should have lied. You lost your Pokemon. What do you mean I lost my Pokemon? Why should I have lied? That is never good in any situation. Everyone always finds out about lies. This is just like an inherent moral life rule. You should never lie. Okay, we're coming in here. You can't find Starlo anywhere. I doesn't like him at all. I was hoping he was here hiding in his room or something. Now I have no idea. Maybe he ran away. His empire did just crumble beneath him. Where though? The path he took only leads to the Steamworks gates. You think he jumped the fence? There's no way. You can't do that. There's nothing out there. Was he ever one to stick to the rules though? He might have. It's okay. Stay calm. We haven't exhausted our options yet. I'm sure he'll return soon. He's too much of a softie at heart. I hope you're right. My bad, I'm just a little unhinged. I know, I know a lot of people wanted me to lie in that situation, but do understand, I've never played this before. I shouldn't have to iterate this as many times as I have done in the stream. I have not ever played this game before. I only found out it existed at the beginning of last week where I put it in the chat vote, right? And that's why we're playing it right now. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to be enjoying the game myself for the first run, and then I'm going to be kind of like, actually using the techniques that I discover to get through the next two runs, which is going to be pacifist and genocide, right? In that order. We're going to do pacifist next, because it's the fan service one. Leave us alone, will you? This is a family matter. Well, I, ch I killed him. My poor boy. Where did you go? I shot him to death. Sorry, kid. I ain't got time to chat right now. Don't you? Looks like time's all you've got. What's this? Looks like an oven. What's out the window? Nothing. There's a painting here. A painting of a lush valley surrounded by mountains. That is probably Mount Ebert, right? What about this fireplace? Anything in here? The fireplace is riddled with cobwebs. Regular cobwebs. Okay. You check in between the cushions for loose change. All you find are crumbs and corn kernels. Can we shoot them out of our gun? Popcorn? Okay, that's locked. A picture of Starlo and Soroma as teenagers. Oh, well, I killed... I killed one of them. Guys, I killed one of them. <laughs> they don't know that you killed Starlo? I'd tell them if I could. Hey, kid, what's that dust on your heads? <laughs> didn't kill Starlo? No, I definitely killed Starlo. The Geno route in Undertale Yellow is insanely hard. Okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Nothing special. Just a lamp. Because a lot of people were telling me that a bunch of the fights across Undertale were really, really hard as well, and I ended up beating half of them first go. A desk displaying Western memorabilia and a sewing machine. A piece of faux brick under the machine has been left unfinished. All right. A thick farmer's almanac, written by Solomon, sits on the dresser. It has several sticky notes poking out of its pages. A thick farmer... Okay, that's the same one. Not interested in the same one. What about this bed? A double-decker rocket ship, ready to blast off into pleasant dreams. See ya, space cowboy. Uh, don't know what they mean by that. Just some floor corn. You know how it is. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, well, we've rummaged through his possessions. I feel like we get his possessions since we were the ones who killed him. Right? A dirty hat, similar to Starlo's, rests on the rack. Always good to have a backup. Where's our backup? I think Starlo took... Uh, is that our hat? Did Salo ransack our hat? What a dick. Did you die to one dime? More or sans? Easily sans. I'm using a PlayStation controller, right? So I've got Bluetooth here. And because I'm using Bluetooth, uh, I don't actually have the latency or input or even um, 
acceptable mechanics to be able to fight Sans. So uh, I keep going back to him. I probably spent about six hours alone fighting him with this goddamn piece of garbage. I think I'm just going to have to learn how to fight with the keyboard, to be quite honest, because it's, it's not doing it. It's just, it's too hard, and you have to be pixel perfect with Sans, and there's some little nuances with PlayStation controllers, like when you want to go diagonally, and then you accidentally flick downwards too far, and the game hijacks your diagonal movement, and it just goes uh, completely horizontal. That is super annoying. That costs me most fights. Sans is light work. Not on a PlayStation controller, buddy. Try using a wireless controller. Made me break my controller by accidentally dropping my controller. By the way, are you Canadian? No, I am not. I'm not Canadian. Why, why would anybody think that? I don't even sound Canadian. I sound like I'm, if anybody has any kind of like knowledge of the world, I sound like I'm from Cape Town, if anything. I'm, I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand's a tiny country. A lot of people think it's a part of Australia. It's not. I use a Nintendo Switch, bro. Oh, right. Okay. So what you have is controllers that are made for your platforms. Whereas I'm using this thing right here, which is not made for the platform that we're playing this on. I have stick drift. Uh, well, that's easy to fix, actually. Stick drift is fixed by the dead zone settings in the game. Cape Town. Never heard of it? It is the capital of Africa. It's still easy? Oh, is he just? Okay, okay. Um, what you're doing right now is actually a little bit of a revolting technique called gatekeeping, by the way. Um, gatekeeping is where people insist that something is easy to do and thus deter people from wanting to even engage with it in the first place. I did a stream. I did a stream fighting Sans. I got two hours in, and I was just so bored of the fight. It's such a boring-ass fight. And I felt so bad as well because people were actually watching it. People were coming in. There'd be like 10 people pile in, and then they'd all leave, and then 10 people would pile in, and they'd all leave. And what they wanted was to see me beat Sans. But because I am using a Bluetooth PlayStation controller on a platform that does not support Bluetooth PlayStation controllers, playing on a game where the combat is intentionally jank, uh, to the point where the controller hardly functions. It's an intended you're supposed to be using the keyboard. Um, they just watched me repeatedly die to the same nine attack sets of Sans over and over and over again. So I'm never going to stream that whatsoever ever again. It was so goddamn boring. Sans fight on keyboard is actually fun. I wouldn't know. Like, here's the thing, right? I don't play bullet hells. I don't play platformers. Uh, I'm just bad at them. I'm inherently bad at them. I've never actually found them fun whatsoever. Undertale, no, Deltarune, was the first ever platforming game that I have ever played where I have enjoyed the platforming, right? Like, even with Rayman Origins, I played that years and years ago. I found it meh. I found it really, really meh. And that's probably one of the best platformers ever made. Um, what are the other ones? Geometry Dash. I had a little crack at that one. What are the other ones where you kind of like flick up and down? It's basically Geometry Dash. You hit space and you just go up and down all the platforms. Where the retro games uh, only Thursdays? Yes. Yes, they are. Yeah, it's not fun on a controller. It's, it's really a pain in the ass. I got to go to bed. Good night there, Fallen Sky. So here's the issue, right? I have stacked everything against myself by even attempting to play these games. I'm bad at bullet hells. I'm bad at platformers. I don't even like doing it. <laughs> like, it's, it's not fun to me. It's, it's, it's not actually one of the reasons why I started this channel, which was to enjoy a video game with a bunch of other people, right? That's why I started this channel in the first place. GD can be hard to get into. Geometry Dash? Yeah, it, it can be hard to get into, but at the same time, like, it's fair enough. You hit the space bar. That's the only mechanic of the game, essentially. Just cook some dino nuggets. Nice. I love dino nuggets so much. Oh, by the way, the temperature here has massively uh, changed. It was like 30 degrees yesterday, and now it's about five. The second attack, the blue attack, is my op. Basically, my brain can't process the concept of jumping and moving to the side, so I barely jump in place, and if I go slightly too high, I get hit. Well, see, here's the thing. We're talking about sands, right? We're talking about sands and the platforming, the annoying platforming. It's not actually the platforming that bothers me so much. The platforming I can usually just get through using attrition, which is just me doing it over and over again until I brute force it, essentially. But the thing that really bothers me about Sans fights is there are so many instances in that fight where you have to be pixel perfect, which you cannot do on a Bluetooth device. There is latency. There's about a, a fifth of a second of input delay before you um, get the command to register on the device and another half a second where it is pulled off of the output where you don't want on the computer. Right, so when I am moving this, and also the dead zone is very annoying as well. Uh, I'll get to that after this. When you need to be pixel perfect and there is a tiny, tiny little bit of latency, that tiny little latency will cost you the entire fight. 
every single time. Who's your favorite enemy right now? Still Daddy Big Sword. Five, what is that? About 62 degrees? Uh, if that's Fahrenheit, I, I would just kind of like imagine that that's correct. I don't know the conversions myself. Um, also, there's stick drift. So when I take my stick and I move it over here to make a, a, nice, a nice little movement to the side, right? And then I let go of it. The stick actually bumps this way. And then it gives the incorrect reading, which then cancels the input and the latency forces you to take damage. So using a Bluetooth controller is, is probably actually the worst way of fighting uh, specifically Sans, because the platforming is, is okay, but it's all the other kind of like pixel perfect dashing that you have to do. And you already also need to know every single attack in advance, which I'm not going to go seek out at all because I don't like spending my time doing that whatsoever. It's not fun. It's not fun whatsoever. And uh, there are so many better things that I could be doing with my channel than watching someone else play Sans for two straight hours, right? So I'm not going to make you guys watch that either. There's a whale covering the video screen. No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. I mainly learn my sand save file so I can listen to the theme while I fight, despite people saying Megalovania is overrated. Uh, Jeff plays guitar. He did a really good cover of uh, Megalovania. It's good, but the other Undertale tracks are better. I, th I don't think it's underrated. I think it's good, and it's got a, a beloved place in the hearts of the people who really enjoyed the game, because you're not going to get to the end of Genocide route unless you really enjoy the game. And then being rewarded with such a banger of a tune right after all of the knowledge of having played the game, that in its own right is probably a good reward. It is a very good soundtrack altogether. All right. Hello again, I have some news. You can now ship yourself if you so choose. Ship myself, what could that mean? Transportation, all for free. If you want to travel, give me a call. We will set to the skies without a care at all. Now I must go, but don't be nervous. Just ring the bell for our service. Thank you for the poetry. Uh, did we get mail? Let's see. No. Will we get mail? Please? I need the mail whale. Come and dump some mail into me. It's raining mail! Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? Mail! You have a watch if you don't... Okay, we've already seen this. Okay, we don't have any mail. At least we checked. It's still hot here. It rained once last week, but that's all summer. It's raining right now here in New Zealand. The best theme of all time is Big Shot, or last episode, the short theme before fighting Metaton. I don't think it's Big Shot. Like, by like that one's pretty mid. It's, it's a pretty mid song, honestly. Once you start listening to it without the actual fight playing, if you listen to the song itself, it's pretty mid. Streamers understand, freaky streamers understand Rule 34. Are you mentioning the whole, like, we can ship ourselves thing? I ship ourselves with Bird. A sea lover and Bird. The C stands for, um, co coaddle. Is that the bird's butthole? The hell is this? Gully! Hey, the Sandy! Everyone you met just abandoned you for their own interests. Those aren't real friends. No way! I'm here for you, though. Always will be. Now, let's get out of here. He's gotta be tricking us, right? I'm not too sure how to open this door. Hold on. We've destroyed the keypad. Nice! one way of opening it. We can finally leave this wasteland behind. See you later, sea lover. Steamworks? Does it? How dare you? I cast the peepees and a hyperlink block curse on you. I should point out, Spamton, that I have killed you a bunch of different times. And it was fun. It was fun to do so. You're actually really, really fun to murder in cold blood. Uh, Jivel was just a fun fight, but the satisfaction of killing Spamton... Uh, it's, uh, it's a better resolution than fighting Jevil, right? Because Jevil just dies and Spamton, he gives exposition while he's dying. So while the fight was um, just objectively worse in every, every way to Jevil, it's got to be said, it, it, it was fun to it. Is that a TV screen? What is this? What is this? Nothing. What is this? Is a light? What is this? I feel like that's supposed to be like CRT television screens that have that revolting uh, kind of like is it 1024 by 768 resolution, I think? Don't stand on those. Howdy again. Golly, this area sure is grim. Doesn't it look like anyone's been around here for years? This machine looks mighty important, though. Snoop around and see what you can find. Talk to you soon. I cast math homework. Oh, Jesus, that's a rough one. Didn't need to put it in such morbid way, but the Spamton fight is fun nonetheless. Yeah, for its, like, lore drops, right? Like, like, it's just like flat satisfaction of taking a life. 
I think that uh, it's, that definitely goes to Spamton. But Jevil's fight is just objectively better in every single way, shape, and form. I hate Spamton Neo. I raged at his fight. He's not... I hate to say it, but... At the, at the risk of sounding like I am now gatekeeping, Spamton was really easy. I honestly found the kind of, like, getting the hang of the 3D elevators when you get up to Spamton, that was probably harder than his actual fight. But the actual fight was very, very simple, I think. If you can come up with a bunch of characters, then try voice work. Yeah, I, uh, thanks, Dead Space Man. That's a really good idea. Um, I do actually have something that I'm kind of working on at the moment. So I mentioned uh, in a few streams that I kind of, like, write a little creepypastas in my spare time. I am probably going to voice act those and have Yinset help me with the female voice acting. And we're going to put them on the channel as kind of, like, members perks. On PS4, it's hard for me. Deltarune, is Deltarune actually on PS4? Because I'm on a PlayStation controller, so I've, I've got the same thing, but with worse latency. It reminds me I defeated Snowgrave's Phantom in an airport waiting for my plane while my friends beat Jevil in a subway parking lot. Nice! That is uh, pretty reminiscent of what they should be like, honestly. A rusty power generator. You're not sure if it still works. So I feel like this might represent the core, but I feel like we actually need more in-game evidence before we confirm this. This is a new area. Okay, that is a sheer drop. It seems like... Mm, the game has taken a massive paradigm shift in style. Because it was all cutesy, and now it's not. There's a heart right up here. Okay, we can't interact with it. Uh, we found a gigantic fluid thing. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, good. Put some more in here. Done! That was a cool puzzle. I actually really liked that. That was that was super cool. I like that one. On my PlayStation right now, same as Undertale. Is it actually on on PlayStation? Is it free? Rip Xbox? Yeah, even Microsoft conceded that uh, Xbox has lost the console wars. So Sony essentially has a market uh, domination on the consoles. Okay, we got another one of these fun puzzles. I do, I like these ones, this is cool. How do we interact with this? With this lever right here? Okay, uh, let's take from, ah. Okie dokie, so all of them seem to distribute equally. We overfill these two. And then we start putting into into here. Ah, oh, so close. All right, so put some into there and some here. Da -da 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 -da! Nailed it. I want to play Core Keeper. I own that. It's actually really fun. It's a really, really fun game. Though no Undertale Yellow on PS4. Yeah, no. So I don't think you'll ever see like, um, I don't think you'll ever see fan-made games, mods, indie games. Well, really indie games like this one. This is a fan game. You're not going to see these on PlayStation. And the reason for that is Sony take their security really, really seriously. It is really expensive to upload a patch to a game in Sony because they've had so many data breaches and all, almost every single one of them was through um, uploading patches to indie games. Howdy! You seem to be progressing well. Not that I expected anything else. Let's get out there and see what this place has to offer. Okay. Thank you, Flowey. But yeah, um... It, it costs them like tens of thousands of dollars to upload a patch to a video game. This place is very creepy. You peer inside the chamber. It's far too dark to make anything out. Is this supposed to be where the human souls are kept? You peer inside the chamber. It's still too dark to make anything out. Probably monsters in here, right? Oh, what's this? Ah, some rails. Great. Can't wait. What does this do? I don't know. I don't know what that did. Oh my god, it's about to slap. Corekeeper, didn't it just come out? No, I've had it for about a year. It's been an early access for a while. Until fan games won't ever be on a console or Steam because it's a fan game. I'm playing this on Steam. I'm literally playing this on Steam. You can add games to Steam uh, through the whole add a non-Steam game to your library thing. Screenshot. Take the thumbnail of that. It works. It works just as well. And actually, you can play this on a DualSense 5 controller if you add it to Steam. 
You can't actually play it as base resolution. The hell? Why does it slap? You think anyone still lives here? Yeah, if they do, you can always handle it. I feel like I'm watching a, like, a 1980s action movie with Tom Cruise and maybe Keanu Reeves. You find a stick of beef jerky inside the washing machine? Thank you. We got beef jerky. We don't know it's beef, though. They don't have cows down here. The door is slammed shut. All right. The door is jammed shut. The door is jammed shut. Wait, this one has, like, pink stuff floating out of it. Ew. Ew, it's just full of beef jerky. A pair of cargo jeans is stuck to the table. It's been there a while. Okay. The smell of the old unwashed clothes makes you feel queasy. Fun flower effect. Flowers, that's a wonderful idea. It's from a Ronald McDonald's ad. I had no idea you could add games to Steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go into your Steam library and you just uh, click on the games menu at the top, the top left-hand corner of your screen, there, right at the bottom of there should be a little icon uh, saying, hey, let's add a non-Steam game to the library. And then you just have to find the EXE file and you add it simply like that. If you want to add Game Jolt games, you just got to find where Game Jolt's installing them and add the EXE for each of those games to your Steam library. And it works just as well. I'm going to go ahead and mess around with that and all my Undertale fan games now, though. Yeah, it, it, it works. The chute is clogged with strange-looking plants. Ugh. Okay. So we go in here, right? This actually slaps. Oh, that's very classical. Very classical style of uh, piano. Steam works! I know it does! I added this to my library and I can use a controller! It does! It feels good, man. It feels really good. What's up with all the pink stuff? Oh, okay. That was unexpected. Maybe we shouldn't just be charging. Seriously? Come off it, I just got here. Okay. We'll wait. We'll actually wait for a little bit. Okay, fine. Uh, I'm gonna go over this one first. Probably could've just went over the, the one single one in the middle. I'm going corners. Oh, uh, not! Okay, so my controller did that thing that I was just talking about, where you go diagonally, and as soon as it's like... Nah, I don't like that. It'll, it'll cancel it, and it'll go horizontal. The Undertale Yellow soundtrack just gets better and better throughout the whole game. Yeah, I know, right? Because probably because they recycled lots and lots of songs from Undertale, which they did. They they just recycled a bunch of the songs of Undertale. We've already caught a bunch of them. Oh, I see what they're trying to tell us right here. So, Flowey was... The, uh, for anyone who hasn't done, uh, played Undertale, this is going to be spoilers. Flowey was the result of genetic experimentation. Uh, Gaster took his soul and stuck it into... Um, the body of a plant, and that ended up being flowery. So it's really just you and me in this place, huh? Bit of an anticlimax after everything we've been through. I'm thankful, though. The dunes were draining. Okay, good. Or I'll have to reference my game theory. It might not have been Gaster that put him in there, but uh, somehow, uh, not Asgore's, Asriel, Asriel's soul ended up in a genetic experiment flower. And thus Flowey was born. What are these? Excellence in engineering. Rewards. Dr. Rutherford. Oscar. Uh, we actually have uh, Dr. Ernest Rutherford from New Zealand, who was the first man to ever split an atom, and therefore creating the scientific field of nuclear engineering. Decency in engineering award. Professor Daniels. Okay. You tried an engineering award. Mr. Kujin Kitsukane. What a name. Greatness in... You can't make out the rest. Greatness in C! That's us! We are sea lover! We love sea! Flowey is Asriel without a soul. They put determination into a flower. Hey, was that you <laughs> crapping in the elevator? <laughs> For some reason, I feel like you like voice acting Flowey. I don't know why. Uh, because I got into the habit of doing so when I first played this game. I probably got like 30 hours of Undertale content on my channel at this point. And at this point, it's a bit of a reflex. I see a face, I do the voice. Axis model 014, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted. Steamworks, Eastern Branch. Your crimes are as follows. Trespassing on private property. Utilizing machinery without permission. Human. <laughs> How do you plead to these accusations? Guilty! Really? That was easy. Your crimes will be reported to an authority. Oh wait, that is me. Enjoy your isolation, human. Oh, I was expecting a boss fight. 
That's awkward. I heard a squeak. All right, we're in the basement now. Flowey caught us. That's quite nice. I, for some reason, feel like... Okay. Yo, it's the robot that killed the blue soul human. Is it? Howdy. Glad I was able to catch you in time. What is this? The third tumble you've survived in your journey? For having the name Clover, you sure aren't lucky. I'm only kidding around, of course. I'd say you're more of a machine than that bot up there. <sighs> Gosh, I hope we had a straight shot to an exit, but of course not. If you meet that hunk of metal again, try not to get caught. Or, you know, killed. Although, dying would save more time now that I think about it. I could just revive you on the spot. No amount of gruesome deaths could stop old sea lover. Ain't that neato? Good. What's in the bin? Just some useless scrap. Okay, what's in this door right here? I don't know. Oh, I can't go back. I can't go forward. I cannot believe you fell for that! I am smart, therefore I predicted your escape. Now, back you go! Yeah, so I had this theory right, and it seems like the developer of Undertale Yellow also agrees with this theory, because it's not necessarily confirmed so much as uh, it's given Metaton a bit of back backstory in the actual game. I felt like Metaton was originally purposed to harvest the souls from humans who fell down. Is that a bow tie? Just some useless scrap. No, it's not. Take the bow tie. Or not. Okay, fine. What is that, a keyboard? No, it's just some useless scrap. Gotcha. All right, I'll stop looking at things. What's this? Useless scrap? Okay. Gotcha. Just some useless scrap. Can we go through this air vent? The vent has a few loose screws. You finagle it open. I finagled it, guys. Hi, gun hat. Hey, what's good? Integrity to what, patience? Integrity? Patience is the first human. The first human, no, the first human was Kara, and no one got her soul. There's no confirmations anywhere that Kara's soul went anywhere. So Kara, for all we know, is actually still in the game of Undertale. Again, I'm spoiling things for my own game theory, but it's, it's going to come out. It, once the whole thing is out, it's looking like it's going to be like three hours long as well. I have to edit the whole damn thing too. Once the whole thing is out, everything is going to start making sense. Okay, we can't go through there. We'll just go ahead and save here. Is that gun hat? Yes, it's gun hat. Hello, circle? I don't understand that. Clover, you can call me gun hat? Max's brain must be rusted, though. Didn't take much to escape his trap. I have a feeling you haven't seen the last of him, though. Okay, good. Done. Violently shakes gun hat's hand. <laughs> nice try, but the robot felt, smelt, tasted, and even heard your escape from three miles away. Spamton can't calm down. Jandroid strolls up, whistling a pitchy tune. I'll wipe that smile off his face. Eat my glass. I'm gonna kick his glass. Done. Oh, what a hit. Let's wash up. Oh, that's annoying. What the hell? Oh. oh, the floor is slippery. Okay, gotcha. I was wondering what was happening there. Clean. Okay, I'm just gonna hide in this corner right here because I'm pretty sure the developer didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Want some peepees or maybe hyperlink blocks? No, I'm good. Jandroid doesn't seem to know what they're doing anymore. It's probably because we've shot guns at him, right? That would probably actually distract a lot of people from their job. Guns going off. That are currently firing projectiles into them. Jivala attack? Oh, nice. A little bit of roleplay in the chat. It's not an Undertale stream without a little bit of cringe roleplay, huh? Okay, we're at the end of this. What is this? Dingle dangle? Is that a manta ray? The other the floor is lava, Traveller. I am sorry to say I failed the game some time ago. Uh, however, uh, you do not have to. I will ferry you across the lake. Bzz. Take a ride? Sure. I'm going to trust this weird-ass stingray. When has a stingray ever hurt anybody? Aside from, obviously, Steve Irwin. Oh, it's down here. I'm getting off. Guys, I'm getting off. What is this? A poster of a smiling monster with a slogan above them. Tomorrow means the surface. That's propaganda. Safety is priority. Wear your Steamworks safety goggles during work hours. Always keep your Steamworks ID with you. Decontaminate yourself of any biohazard before leaving the premises. But most of all, have fun. All right, thanks, customs. What is down here? There's gotta be something at the end of here, right? What is this? It's like a room. A Roomba. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The current time is 6.26, Monday morning. That's not true at all. You may have noticed the apple trees outside the Steamworks are blooming. That means spring is upon us. This time of the year, my creator recommends a picnic by the river just south of here. Okay, we're gonna go 
down to the river just south of here. Oh, we can't actually. That's not somewhere we can go. What, but the clock says 1500. That's not six. That's 3 p.m. We didn't dock this guy here either. Weird. Okay, we'll take a ride. The derp live stream is pretty dope. Oh my god. 90% of gamblers quit before they hit big? Yeah, uh, but 100% of gamblers assume that they start gambling to win something. They generally don't. They generally do not win anything. Okay, we don't want to be hit by any of these steam works here. Let's down this way. Is this like a... I don't know how to feel about this place. Okay, we're coming down through this away. We've been here before, surely. Okay, we we just got hit by some steamworks. Okay, good. Let's go around, I suppose. Okay, that one double steamed. Great. I love that for us. Let's just keep on going. And I'm gonna go. Or not. Apparently, I just got hit by more steam. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I was distracted by chat. Okay, nice. The hitboxes on these things are actually a lot bigger than they appear. Okay, and we are getting stunlocked. Love that for us as well. Or just... Ah, you know, I bet you I can ruin your day with just two words? No, I doubt you can. How do you keep getting hit? Uh, enormous hitboxes on the Steamworks. Hello, sea lover, remember me? Uh, no, Papyrus, we never met. Did you know that? Did you know we never met? Okay, good. Come all the way through here. And I'm leaving. Done! Rules card. He was so easy to beat. You're standing on the vent? Yeah, uh, but when we were standing on the edge of the vent, it also counts. That's why we were getting hit by so much. Okay, good. Ah, good. It disabled it. I didn't actually realize that was going to be a thing whatsoever. So we probably need to get back on the sting thing here. And let's go this way. Nice. We want to go up this time, I think. What is up? What is this? The topmost paper is a handwritten letter. To King Asgore. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need a mining company to pro work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. They are already Many great robot ideas floating around. Cooking, cleaning, recreation. The motivation is through the roof. Though, one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I'm quite unsure about that proposition, but you have the final say. In any case, we will see this completed. Professor Z. Okay, I don't know who Z is supposed to be. My bad rules card. Rules card was actually a, a, a fairly easy fight, gotta be said. Spear is harder than kill. No idea what that means. Is that Pepto Bismol? It does look like Pepto, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna go north here. What's back this away? A rubber ducky! Oh! The lore! The lore! Do you guys know what this means? A rubber duck! Okay, I'm pretty sure that's where we got onto this here sting thing in the first place. We keep going this way, we might find something cool. Or, uh, yes, we got through the gate, nice. You love to see it, you love to see it. That's a cool puzzle, actually. I, I do really like that one. Uh, there is an up over here. I'm not entirely sure if there's... Is that an elevator? Probably is an elevator. All right, we'll keep on coming through here. Can we go up here? No. I tried. Hello? Sting thing! Wait, are we not supposed to get off here in the first place? Are we supposed to get onto the sting thing and then just, like, keep on going? Take a ride? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's not useful to us. This one is different. Then we'll go all the way to the left. Uh, what the hell? This guy drinking Pepto. Brother. Slurp, slurp. Ah! Oh, nothing like a Steamworks Boba Soup trademark to fuel the engine. What? Don't act like you've never heard of it. I kind of have, but only because I have done a lot of game development in my time. Steam common redistributables. The rubber duck was as caught this whole time we've missed it. Absolutely. Good God, yes! That's the whole game sold! That ducky is the bird that carries you over a disproportionately small gap in the regular Undertale. Oh, an Undertale! 
Undertale, you say? Not Deltarune? No, it was Undertale, right? It was Undertale. But there was also one of those in Deltarune as well. All right. You have reached your destination. Psst. If you need another ride, I'll be here. Psst. Okay. I'm going to go up. If this is the destination, we want to see what the other route was like. The northern route. If we can. What is up here? This is a fully new area. Okay, good. We're sprinting. Oh, for God's sake. Man! It's your boy, Mo! How did I get here? I got contacts, I right? Eyes all over the ground. Enough chit-chat, though. It's business time. As you know, I'm always scouting around for the next big thing, right? Right? So I was on my way here and spotted a bunch of glowy plants on a wall. First thought that sprung to mind. Taste them! Your head's on fire, my dude. And I'll tell you what, this stuff hit me like wham! Best cuisine you'll ever experience. Truly! I even molded them into recognizable food shapes for their visual appeal. Visual appeal is half the battle, I say. Smooth. Ain't nobody gonna buy your product if it looks ugly, right? <laughs> but you would. I know it, old Mo can always count on your business. Isn't this supposed to be like fuel or something? Now, where's my stand? There it is. I'll take three. I can actually think of several uses for that. For example, Asgore. That's most of them. That's most of the uses. I, uh, have a few products left in my pocket. Don't go yet. That's what I got. Uh, we've got some moss salad. That's obviously a Deltarune joke. Grassy fries, probably another Deltarune joke. We could buy a cancel. Maybe we get some flower stew. Well, that'll piss Flowey off. Hey, what's up? Do you want to show me after the stream? Do you want to show everybody? So that they're not they're not all confused? Check this out, guys. Yin Set has just come in here to show me that she bought shampoo. Come come show them come show them the shampoo. What what'd you call it? Shaving oil. Apparently this is like a potion in a video game. I'm I'm calling Cat. That is not like a potion in a video game. I'm trying to what is wrong with you! Yuck. I'm right there. I just did! I just did! I just drank it! There you go guys, I just drank some of her potion. It was revolting as as expressed. <laughs> it was just shouting, don't drink it. What's wrong with you? You need to go like throw up. No, I don't. If I need to throw up, my body will say so. Don't don't worry. <laughs> Over the teeth, through the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. I, I just wanted to have a little taste. It smelled good, but it tastes revolting, honestly. It tastes like most shampoo tastes. Okay, good. Don't worry. I will go to the emergency department if I like burst into flame, like this guy's clothes or something like that. Okay, let's go around here. I'm already stuck. Oh, we can't go that way. Are our clothes different? They look a little bit different. All right, let's take a ride. Let's get on the stingray. I love that. Yin Set has now gotten into the habit recently of just coming onto the stream and telling me the most boring crap that I can hear in the day. Yesterday, it was, uh, she didn't go to work and they had to close her work because they didn't have enough people to keep it open. And she, she stood outside with my best friend for five minutes waiting for a moment to show me this. Look at you sailing across the blazing lake with ease. These robots aren't useless after all. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but would you make it? Uh, yeah, I think I'd make it. It's just shampoo. You can drink shampoo. It's not good for you, but you can drink it. Uh-oh! Escaped convict spotted. Steamworks office branch. I'm running. I'm going. I'm going. I'm running. I'm literally running away from this thing. We are running away from a robot. Uh, uh, halt! You are coming with me! Stay here, I must go back on patrol. Do not touch anything. Okay. I don't even know what my girlfriend just handed me. She just handed me this bottle and said it was a potion. You're referring to the thrash your own ass machine? Yeah, there's a duck in Deltarune. 
Yeah, this is Duck and Deltarune. I have like 20 minutes to leave stream. Wow, you've got so much time to leave the stream, my dude. Is this a Five Nights at Freddy's dig? The security station would be useful to track roaming robots. Okay, I called it as I saw it. If there were any cameras in the Steamworks. All right. The mummified remains of an abandoned pizza party. Not even you are brave enough to try a slice. What do you mean? I just drank shampoo. Of course I'm brave enough. The security station would be useful to track roaming robots. If there were any cameras in the Steamworks. Okay, we've seen that one. A portable coolant dispenser. Handy. Cool. Trash can. Is that what it is? What about this? Have you seen my wife? <laughs> I have actually, yes. Ah, there's another vent right here, which apparently is just taking us straight up. No question. Five Nights at Froddy's? Is this where you want to be? I just don't get it. Why would you want to stay? So we can see. So we can see what's in there. What's in there? There's no way in hell this is a coincidence. It's, F it's FNAF. It's FNAF at Freddy's. Oh, this is where we came in. Okay. We'll come on. Damn, we're being chased again. Okay. Uh, hold up. I'm, I'm doing a chase scene. Come on in. Hey, guys. Jensen's uh, just entered the room again to berate me for drinking shampoo, I think. Oh, well. What's up? No, I'm not dead. <laughs> no. No, Sam, I don't. Why are you 12? I'm curious. I'm curious. That's what I am. I need all of this contaminated Worth it. Yeah, I feel fine. It's literally just oil. It's just oils. And there we go. She came back in to see if I just died. Oh, this music kind of slaps. It, it does kind of slap, doesn't it? Enough running. Okay, back in here. Do you have the ability to cooperate? Or are you toying with me on purpose? Either way, I am starting to really hate you. There you go, little hyperlink bracket right there. What about these? A highly competitive game of chesses was played here. Scribbles and doodles of surprising quality lie on the table. Which kind of quality? You wish you could draw like... That well. Okay, they're good quality. Gotcha. What is this? They're just burnt refuse? Gotcha. A few papers are scattered on the table. Seems to be an unfinished proposal for security camera installations. Great! So it was a pizza party. That's what they were having here? Yum yum and Yince's tongue. <laughs> I'm curious! I'd rather fight Asgore than Sans. Yeah, I'd probably rather fight anything than Sans. Doesn't really matter. Oh, it's on. The security station would be useful to track roaming robots if there were cameras. Okay, okay, fine, I'm going back in. I can just imagine every time you get sent back here, the robot starts waiting at the entrance for you to appear. That would be the smart thing to do, right? That would be the smart, logical thing. I'm just going to gap it flat out. We're gapping it. We're going to cut our corners as well to save time on our split, if we can. Excellent, and we'll come down here, and we're cutting, and I'm going south, and I'm going north. And we're still going! I'm going this way next. And then we're going this way. Infinite loop my ass crack. They're gonna catch up. Oh, damn it. Okay, so close. Would it be weird if I said I killed Sans before Undying the Undying? I got help from a friend. Uh, yeah, that would actually be very, very, very hard to do since killing Undying the Undying is actually a prerequisite for uh, genocide. So that would be damn near impossible. Fight ass cancer? Uh, okay. Okay, everybody, you heard what Dead Space Main said. He is a member on the channel. If you guys want to go and get your prostate examined, you're all welcome to. You just go to your GP, ask them for a prostate examination, and when they say, look, you're way too young to even be susceptible to this, say, look, Dead Space Main on Yinsen's live stream chat told me that I need to get my ass checked out for prostate cancer. I at least need to be aware of it, and it is actually something to be aware of. It's a, it's a good thing to be aware of. Especially outside of November. I think we could actually... Oh, we bumped into something. Yeah. We probably actually save time by, like, uh, going diagonally more often than not. Okay, good. I'm coming up. Whoa! Whoa! I don't want to slip and fall on that... <laughs> Bonk! Did not approach him. Okay. Done. Ask Gore is 60 or something, I think. No, he's immortal. It's been confirmed in this game right here. I don't know about Undertale. Quite likely. Quite likely. I think he's got some massive connection. Uh-oh. Found you. 
I think he's got a massive connection to the, uh, to the, to the barrier, right? Okay, we got hit. Where are they coming from? There? Okay, that's fine. That's not so hard to get around. Okay, I can deal with that. I'll just deal with it. Oops, we got hit by one. It's like he's throwing plates at us, honestly. Oops, that one should have hit us realistically, but it didn't. Awesome. We found ourselves in a hallway with a pile of trash. You are cornered, human. I did not want to hurt you, but you forced my glove. Prepare for pain. <laughs> oh. This is a problem. Looks like you win this time. I will return to capture you soon. Do not go anywhere, please. <laughs> Man, the grip on that tire is insane. Metaton or Axis? Metaton's pretty easy as well, honestly. I don't know who Axis is. Who is Axis? Oh, hey there, Flowey. Howdy! I know I usually let you handle imminent threats, but... You really looks cornered back there. My friendliness palettes sure come in handy in tight spots. Anyway, you must be totally out of breath after that. You should take it easy for a while, pal. Grab a snack, hydrate, it won't bother me. You need to be in tip-top shape for what's coming. Okay, thank you, Flower. Howdy. Not a fan of this area's bleak vibe, honestly. I got my fill of this kind of stuff with the ruins. Guess I'm not freezing or choking on sand, so... It's certainly been worse. Ah! <laughs> Little bit of a SpongeBob laugh right there. X, this is the robot you were just running from? Uh, yeah, definitely Metaton. Because basically what we were just doing there was uh, platforming, essentially. Vendi Model 01, without gravity. Scanning customer. Unauthorized child detected, go away. I want to sell you things. Oh yes, I will gladly dispense our garbage. Hand it over. Please stop. <laughs> I want to talk to it. Why is your attitude so bad? Code line 327. If a customer is determined, unauthorized, treat them with utmost disrespect so that will, they will not buy up the company's snacks. My disrespectful state was initiated when I scanned your dull face. Bring a Steamworks employee ID next time to experience hospitable mode. Until then, you may still purchase items, but I will tear apart your self-esteem while you do so. Loser. Steamworks, tell me about it. What about it? The Steamworks are only the finest in monster science and engineering. No big deal or anything. Structures built from the toughest steel and the greatest mines, sure to stand the test of several millennia. Searching for a more advanced facility would be like searching for the corner of a circle. With a quality machine such as myself at every turn, lives are improved every day. The Steamworks, tomorrow means the surface. I am not a propaganda machine. My creator made sure I specify that. <laughs> Access. Searching for Axis in the database. Axis, latest model 14 is a robot built to act as a royal guard. Production goal, create an army of Axis guard bots to protect monster kind from humanity. Production status, discontinued. That is all of the information I have on the robot. If I were to be helpful, which I will not be, I would tell you to go ask an engineer in the factory wing for more information. Where is the factory ring? I cannot tell you. You are unauthorized. Not that I trust you to find it on your own, since you are, in fact, an idiot. What are snacks? My snacks are up to the highest Steamwork standards. I ensure the employees' designated meal times are enjoyable as possible. Because of my popularity, I often run out of inventory, which my creator restocks every Monday at 8 a.m. That reminds me. My last boot up yesterday was a Sunday. Dr. Aro should be stopping by any minute now. I simply cannot wait. But none of that is your business now, is it? Okay, I've heard enough. Let's go ahead and buy something. Gravity granola? This will kill you? Oh, I see they're rude to us. So the, the kind of like descriptions are funny, right? <sighs> you would have been dead if he didn't intervene. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Nice. You are my brain at all times. Uh, heals 20 HP, unfiltered, dirty, bad, dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> that is H2O. That is literally H2O. The one thing you do not want is dihydrogen dioxide. That's that's bad. That's H2O too. That is, um, that, that will kill you. Uh, potato chisps, that is a joke from Deltarune. Tastes like plastic, I bet. Safety goggles, uh, will blind you. Ah, I mean, I'll buy them anyway. You can't carry any more, too bad. All right, fine, we're gonna drop some crap on the ground, I think. Bye, thanks for nothing. Yeah, no worries, bud. Uh, what do we wanna throw on the ground? We'll eat this here sea cake. You drink the sea tea, your soul speed increases. You gain one SP. What the hell is SP? Okay, we're gonna buy it now. Safety goggles, done. Item dispensed. Now we're probably outgrowing the revolver holster, aren't we? So we'll probably just use these safety goggles for now. 
You wrap up the safety goggles in your hat. It looks like it has eyes now. Oh, I thought it actually did, but it doesn't. Okay. SP is speed? Okay. And fun fact, Axis chased the blue soul human through waterfall and it was supposed to only capture them, but malfunctioned and killed them. Why you can find the tutu and shoes hidden in the waterfall. What is your source, my dude? That None of that is prevalent in the game whatsoever. It sounds like you're quoting YouTubers um, who basically just spread misinformation for views. Okay. So we've got a catwalk over here. I am not, by the way, I, I'll just say this now. And for anybody who hasn't actually seen any of the other playthroughs I've done, I will not and cannot endorse any other YouTubers without them presenting all of their evidence for why they believe that way, which is why my playthroughs are so unique in the sense that we're getting theories that other YouTubers aren't saying, right? It's good logic, bro. He killed the blue soul human and his, the evidence. Okay, but what is the evidence though? It's not logic that I'm asking for. That is in the game. You just didn't get there yet. So it's spoilers. The evidence hasn't shown up yet. I'm sorry, for, for this one here. Are, are we talking about Untale Yellow? Are we, are we talking about Undertale? Please tell me that. Why are all these pipes sneezing at me? Oh, finally. It's confirmed in the game? Yeah, is it Undertale or Undertale Yellow? Well, that's confirmed in, because it's not anywhere in Undertale. Undertale Yellow? Okay. Do you guys actually know if Undertale Ye Yellow is canon? Because it wasn't made by Toby Fox. It wasn't designed by Toby Fox. The story was also not made by the Toby Fox. Undertale Yellow? It's not canon to Undertale? Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's Undertale Yellow Law. Yeah, uh, so... Okay, I'll, I'll withdraw my opinions before I actually see the evidence. Gusick has come to share some sounds. I don't want to treat Undertale Yellow like it is Undertale, though, because, like, they are two completely separate games, and when you get two different writers uh, making two different things, even if someone says it's honorarily canon, generally there's a lot of mess. The closest canon ending is Pacifist. Yeah, I had a hunch. Obviously not, because it's a fan game. Well, Toby Fox endorsed it. He didn't, like, say it was canon, but it, apparently he endorsed it on the internet. I'll have to also check that after uh, we finish the game as well. Gusik has come to share some sounds. All right, let's uh, shoot Gusik. You're listening to Death Radio! Death Radio! That's what I want to listen to, baby! Nice. Okay, we'll come up here. Gusik blasts battle music from his beat. Okay, bang, 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 bang. Play me Thrones album. What's my dingle? I'm gonna kill it. <gasps> louder! 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 Okay, good. We're doing some big noise. Why do we have to stay on the left? That's where the base is. Why are we actively not using base? Probably because he's a vinyl player. Okay, good. And bang, bang. Bunch of shots. Almost got him down. Don't hit on my music tastes! What the hell is this? Oh, I see. It's the safety of sides. Well, that's pretty easy. Oh. <laughs> Good. Okay. Bang! 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 Nice! Yes, fill him with lead. He was filled with vinyl, now he's dead. Okay, we killed him! Nice! I love killing that thing. What is that? Spores? Gorgeous. Okay, we got more steam, it seems. Is this game just like massively chilled out or am I smoking crack or something? I feel like it's kind of chilled out a little bit. Like, usually there are a billion of these steam valves everywhere, right? And they were just kind of like clustering us into stuns. Okay, they're a little quick. They're a little bit quick. I thought that maybe it would have chilled out just a smidge, but it seems like that's not the case whatsoever. Okay, got past that one. Okay, we got hit by that one, unfortunately. Nice. It's easy enough to dodge though, to be quite fair. Uh, this one seems just unfair. I wonder if we can go past... Maybe it's got to, something to do with the floors. Or maybe I just, like, keep on standing on them regardless and we dodge the steam manually. Okay, I mean, it worked. <laughs> nice. We dodged it manually. It's called the Steamworks? Yes. Yes, it is. It keeps reminding me of Steam, though. Because that's what uh, Steam's development suite is called. Steamworks. Valve steam works. Okay, uh, this is a lab of some sort. Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is unnatural. Okay, so this is trying to elucidate at uh, Gaster's work, right? They haven't mentioned Gaster in this game yet, by the way, which is kind of weird. But 
guess who was essentially working on a few different things, and one of them was trying to, like, create all of these plants to, to kind of, like, try and transfer the souls into so that it wasn't those amalgamates that had the souls, I imagine, because flowers are alive. I love dusting a robot. That's... Yeah, Gunhead, that's a, that's a very strange thing to say. You peer into the box and find a bucket of nails. Take them? Sure! Not enough inventory space. This has got to be bullets, right? Uh, I'm going to throw this fancy holster on the ground. I don't want it anymore. You sure you want to drop the fancy holster? Yep. Good, we got some nails. We've now got a nail gun. Probably actually makes our gun as least lethal as is humanly possible, right? So this is probably ammunition. You load the nails into your gun. Okay, good. I was hoping we weren't going to, like, eat it or something like that. The man who speaks in hands is so luscious. Weird. Guess it doesn't get mentioned in this game, I'm pretty sure. Excellent! Because he's supposed to be dead! I have evidence for this, that's why I'm making a game theory based on uh, Undertale. Everyone's been asleep for like 10 flat years. A grown over robot. They're much more silent than you're used to. And the reason I get so animated about all of these uh, YouTuber theories and how they've stacked on top of a bunch of different things, and they're all wrong, is because I've sat there, I've got all of the evidence that literally just immediately disqualifies all of the foundations that these theories are built on. And it's probably the one thing MatPat really cocked up, to be quite honest. A grown over robot. Could use a good cleaning. Gaster has been dead this whole time. Since the accident, whatever accident happened, I'm just going to speculate in my, um, in, in my game theory. But Gaster is dead. He's not alive. He's just dead. And I suspect that Kara's soul was released from her body and she's kind of like a ghost haunting the place. Science department. Employees have reported the generator is showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than one year from now. I need you to speed up the testing of alternate power sources. The underground depends on it. Oh, maybe this is like before Gaster actually got his big moment. A grown over robot. Which wouldn't make sense because Gaster designed the original Metaton robot, which was designed to take the human souls from humans and then deposit them into those gigantic containers. So the timeline is, is a little bit wank here. You can almost make out a face on a screen. Okay. Two, head office. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be best for Monsterkind yet. However, the chemistry lab did have a breakthrough regarding a white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing has commenced. Science division. Okay. What about this one? A grown over robot. You avoid touching some exposed wires on their back. What? Lick them! Lick them! I don't care. Didn't he get thrown into the core or something? I've only hear, heard that theory two or three times. Yes, that was my theory. I, I think that Kara pushed him into the core. He has to make the core. The steam works with the power of the underground before the core, according to Undertale lore. Of course. Uh, okay. That would assume that the whole, like, Gaster running the lab and then Alphys being there way later. Alphys was the... Apprentice to Gaster, right? When Gaster was alive. And essentially what I kind of like figured was that when Gaster left, Alphys took over. She had massive guilt for the heinous war crimes she committed by blending all those monsters together to try and create the equivalent of a human soul. Um, but it was like cut and dry, right? Gaster, then Alphys immediately. So who the hell are all of these scientists in between? The man who speaks in hands, which is Gaster, or the controller, which is X Gaster, no idea what X Gaster is. Yeah, so Gaster made the core. The steam works with the power of the underground before the core, but if Gaster made the robot to harvest the souls from the humans, from the second human onwards after Kara, how could, how could this other lab be here? X Gaster is underverse stuff, I assume Jensen wouldn't know about, nope. If it's not in the game, I'm not interested. A grown over robot. Like, as much as I like ARGs and stuff like that, they get too convoluted to a point. And as it currently stands, every single Gaster theory that I've seen has nothing to stand on. It's all just speculation and uh, conjecture. Unfortunately, the like closest thing that people have to Gaster being alive is the Mystery Man icon, um, with the little sting that plays when the Mystery, Mystery Man goes away. And uh, it's the same as Gaster's theme, which are both fun value things, which again, I think are cut content from the actual game itself. People say that they're the same song. They're actually not. They're actually not. The, Miss Man, the Mystery Man floating away is actually the first three notes that play on the Waterfall uh, theme song, as you're in the Waterfall theme song. It's got nothing to do with Gaster's theme or anything like that. It's not even the same BPM, not the same key, but it is the same key and a different time signature as the Waterfall Zone. It's just an alternate fan version of Gaster. What, the Underverse stuff? 
Underverse is an animated series on YouTube made by one person. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Seems more forgotten than the rest. Okay, I'll actually get back to the game. Like, I won't distract too much from this game theory I'm working on. I'm probably just going to release them in chapters. What the hell? A grown-over robot. This one looks like it could cut you. Oh, I thought it said it could be like you. A grown-over robot. You notice a small hat resting on top of them. Yeah, it's like a little chef's hat. Okay, two science division. The plants should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working towards a new compound. One made from special energy. It could be the key we need. Much more time is necessary to develop it properly, however. As for the proposed greenhouse division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient, and trustworthy. I'll send you some blueprints shortly. Thank you for your time and research. Get off this. Okay, good. Well, we've seen that as a blueprint in a box over here. Can we shoot it with our gun? Rolled up blueprints lie in the box. You take a look. Ah, yeah, so that is not Metaton. That actually does look like the robot that we were just kind of coming up against, right? So they've got a little wheel right here. Uh, looks like the big Deltarune signature on the chest, which I'm not sure the other one had. Axis was his name, I think. And uh, just a head. Ah, so it was. there was supposed to be kind of like a plant that goes in there. Ah, oh, and that would give it artificial intelligence without needing too much circuitry. It makes sense, actually, in the law. The law scrambles my brain so much. There's Gasser, well, scientists who made the corp. Chujin, Soroba's husband, another scientist or something I'm not going to spoil. And there's Elphis. Oh, yeah, and Sans. Oh, man, Sans is the biggest part of my theory. People are all like, oh, Gaster is, is so big and so mysterious. Sans blows the entire story open. If you just look closely enough at his uh, psychological perception of the world, as well as all of the things that he possesses. We don't have any confirmation about Sans being part of that stuff, but there is some clues. No, we actually do have confirmation about it. I found all of it, and it ties into a very, very nice and tidy timeline that explains both Gaster and all of the events that kind of lead uh, from Chara as well, or Kara, whatever you want to say. There, there is evidence. There is a lot of evidence that points towards Sans being uh, basically the kind of like the pin in the center of the giant red thread around the place, and that that is what my game theory is going to hinge on, is Sans kind of blowing the whole thing open. Because everyone else has been asleep on Sans. What is all of this stuff? It certainly isn't natural. I mean, if anyone knows flowers, it's me. Blech. Yes. It's a little bit artificial and sterile, isn't it? It's all, oops, I stood on the flowers. It's all devoid of color too, which is very strange for flowers. Flowers require something called chloroplasts, which are green, which are able to metabolize sunlight into uh, basically the food for plants, right? I'm very excited for this theory. It'll be a while before it comes out, but when it comes out, my God, it's gonna make waves. A lot of people talk about his past with both Gaster and Alphys. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, but I have all of the evidence necessary to put all three of those people into a very, very nice Deltarune triangle, <laughs> so to speak. We know Alphys and Sans know each other. Yeah, well, we also know that uh, Sans and Gaster know each other because they work with each other. Right, uh, but I'm getting, I'm now getting into spoiler territory for my theory and I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So any more information, you're just gonna have to wait a, a little bit longer. You put inside the box and find some grassy fries. Nice. Thank you. Not enough inventory space. I mean, I'm going to take them. Uh, the raccoon tried to sell us this. I'm going to get rid of the safety jacket because we probably don't need it anymore. Yeah, we want to drop that crap. Let's go ahead and take these grassy fries. What a steal. What a find. Kind of cool. I'm going to stand on all these flowers anyway. What the hell was that? I heard a, I heard a beep. I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, Papyrus is irrelevant with Gaster. Oh no, he's he's relevant. He is actually a, a pretty big part of the puzzle as well. But he's not like essential, he's just, he has a lot of supporting evidence. I... Oh, this is the thing with the blueprints that we just saw. Am awake! Damn, we should have stood on his head before he could have woken up. Got a bunch of wires hanging out of his back as well. Gardener, Model 2, status, damaged. Oh, hello there. Was it you who disturbed the flora? I ask you to please have more respect. But do not worry. Seeing that you are so young, it is forgivable. I will report the incident as a level 303... Uh, 303... A totality? Totality. Level 10 offense. Level 10 means the termination of the trampler. Farewell. Oh, that sucks. Good thing we've got a gun. Gardner ensnares you. Oh, cool. I have incapacitated your options. I ask you to cooperate with me. 
This is cool. I, oh, this. Oh my god. Okay, I got, I got the general vibe. Gardner looks down upon you, twitching slightly. We're gonna keep on fighting. Accept your offense, traveler. Okay. Whoa! Okay, I didn't expect that. That wasn't good. Smells like lawnmower clippings. It does, doesn't it? All right, good. We've freed our gun arm. You must learn that plant life is important. More important than you. That's, I mean, that's not really true, is it? Whoa, my God! <laughs> my God! This guy has no chill! Jesus! Somebody called Matthew Patrick? We have a new theory? Sans is Ness and Pepperus is Lucas? I feel like MatPat was, like, I like MatPat as a theorist. I really respect what he's done for the entire theory crafting community. Like, even founding it, some would say, on YouTube. Founding the theory crafting community. But he did drop the ball on his Undertale theories. He is the one who spread around the whole mystery man is Gaster thing, which is the pinnacle that everybody else puts all of their other theories on top of, and it's, it's immediately disprovable with five minutes of audio editing, unfortunately. Okay, what spores circle through the air? Let's try and shoot this guy. What the hell was that? Oh, different gun, different gun. If you do not yield, I will call for backup. No, that's not necessary, my dingle. My dingle dangle, it is not necessary. Oh, I get it. This is supposed to be like a Gatling gun. Hey, did everybody know that guns were, were uh, invented to sow fields? The Gatling gun, the big thing with the crank on it and goes do 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 uh, you put seeds in there, and it actually fires seeds into soil. That was the original purpose of a gun. Okay. Okay, I gotta hit the actual circles, though. You are a handful. I am going to count to three. Ah! I think I just got hit by something. Oh, come on! Come on! Where was the foreshadowing for this? Alright, Gardner waters your cage. That's not very nice. Good! Oh my god, 69 damage! That's what I want to see. One. Oh my god. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this guy's kind of tough. This guy is actually kind of tough. It smells like lawnmower clippings, doesn't it? Just bang, 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 bang. Nice! Another 66 right there. Two. Not bluffing. Okay, he's not bluffing, guys. Oh no, they're spewing seeds of- oh my god, this is- There was a- ah, uh, there was an attack phase in Deltarune where someone kept on using that and I found it truly horrible to deal with. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nice! That should all be crits. 84, that's what I'd like to see. Three! Falling back up. Oh well, I'll take it. You called for help, Gardner? Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the level of the offense, miss? Ten. Termination. Level ten! I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardner says you deserve termination. They know. I just said that. Okay, so attack. Right. Okay, you guys attack me this time. It's got a little blunt of us. Whoa, okay. Oh, piss, we got hit by that. Oh, damn it, we got hit by that one as well. I was trying to get around it, but it didn't really work. It smells like lawnmower clippings. Okay, we're gonna fight. Oh, hey, ass butt. Bang. Dead. Nice. Uh, Blizz to turd, turd. 98. Critical memory error. Trampled flowers. Is there a second phase? I cannot recall what has transpired. If my botanical conduct was unsatisfactory. No. I will not make excuses. I must deserve this. System failing. Seek repairs immediately. I suppose you feel differently, but to me. The garden. It is. Beautiful. He won! He gave me 50 bucks for killing him as well. Okay, I'm going around him. That was nice. That was a nice weave. I like that one, actually. They threw uh, a few little things I didn't expect right out there. I feel like that was supposed to be harder than it was, though. I don't know why. Also, I have thought about Pap's special attack, which could be a Gaster Blaster or something else. I don't know. Yeah, there are Gaster Blasters in there. Again, this all hinges into, uh, like, Sans being the, the the staple. Say something about a special attack. If he used it, it would have blasted you away, something like that. Yeah. So, the Gaster Blaster, that is exactly what it's called, and Gaster definitely existed. But you're going to have to wait for the theory, my guys. Howdy. Golly, that butt sure was a handful. Not to mention a total ripoff. <laughs> Flowers and vines are my shtick. Well, I suppose it goes to show. 
that mechanical intimidations can't beat the real deal. I will say, that thing honestly felt more threatening than Axis. I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but just for consideration, why don't you, you know, deal with Axis next time we meet? I'm sure you... I'm sure it would be easy. Just a thought. Okay, we'll deal with Axis next time we meet him. We'll definitely kill him. That is definitely something I want to do. I've hit this lever. What did it do? Are we on an elevator? No, we've lowered a cat wall. Excellent. Now it's a rat wall. Ah, uh, that's just a shortcut back. Gotcha. We know that Papyrus is very tough due to Undyne's knowledge. We also know he's very precise with his attacks because, as you know, he stops when you're at 1 HP while other monsters accidentally kill you. Ah, uh, yeah? That's not what's really awesome about him, though. Again, I'm not going to spoil anything, but Papyrus, he does have a huge amount of emotional depth to him as well. Gravity Granola is the best healing item here. Oh, uh, thank you very much for telling me that. I didn't get any. Televiz tunes in. All right, let's kill it. I'm going to kill you. I think I missed. Whoops. That's embarrassing. Can someone please shut up, Mrs. Two Brain? Oh, I knew it! I knew it was gonna be like this. If we stay in the corner, it's less likely to hit us. This reminds Telly what time his favorite show is on, but he, she only makes fun of him. Bang, 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 and bang. Nice! 70, straight off rip. Word of advice, please rewind your tapes before feeding me. Okay, he's got a couple of, oh, this one, nice. I hate reruns. Oh. Oh, is he actually just flipping through attack cycles? A couple of nuts right there. Uh, some Tetris? I can dodge that. Easy! Give me something hard! Okay, good. The hardest part of this game, honestly, is probably getting the attacks in there. Alright, he's not liking this. Time to go on a commercial break! No, there is no commercial break. There is only murder, and I am also going to offer death as kind of like a, a side. Okay, bang, 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 bang. Oh, whoops, missed those ones. Still got it! Still got it. Can I see your items for three seconds? No. Okay. Good. Let's keep on going. We're not even using items. It's, it's not even worth seeing them because we're not using them. If Pepper has had the mentality of disbelief, perhaps, he could stop you mid-genocide run, but as Undyed says, he's too innocent and nice. Uh, yeah, he also doesn't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think he wasn't really around for the big war. Like, uh, there were a few monsters who just very clearly weren't around for the big war, and I feel like Pepperus was actually one of them. Okay, what's in here? Ooh, howdy. What the, is that Jibble? This sure is a pickle. I'm not certain my pellets would do any good in this door. You don't have any healing items? Yeah, we got plenty of healing items. We're just not using them. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Be creative, pal. We've been hoarding, okay, fine, I'll show you. Here you go. I'll leave it up for a few seconds, just so you can see it. We've got honeydew pancake, trail mix, fruitcake, spider donut, beef jerky, flower stew. We still got the glass ammo for some reason. We got grassy flies. I'm gonna keep the glass ammo because we might need the healing later. I don't know, but until then. Jibble? The receptionist is unreceptive. They seem to be in the middle of creating a new Steamworks ID. Finish their work? Yes. Oh my God. No way. Seriously? Uh, okay, we want pink, and this is how we see ourselves, I think. Here we go. Got to be a little bit precise, right? Um, give them some nice wee arms. Excellent. They're not wings. They're not butterfly wings. Here we go. Yep, I'm, I'm vibing this. Here we go, yep, and a little bit right there. How do we like this? And also some legs coming out of these pants, I think, is also gonna be a good idea. There we go. We have drawn ourselves. Stop doing that. Why not just put all of the ammo in the bag? What do you mean, why didn't you put all of the ammo in the bag? We can't, we can't load up our gun with more than one piece of ammo. Done. Hey, that's a real piece of art you made there. Oh, really? Anyone want to buy my NFT right here? <laughs> I leave it 30 seconds to get soda. <laughs> oh, good. Give it a go. <laughs> Let's see if our ding -ling works. It works. Would you look at that? Work like a charm. All we had to do is put our ding -ling inside of that slot right there. I might have to personally commission you someday. Uh huh. Oh, I could turn you into a couple of ding -a myself there, uh, Flowey, if that's what you... Is this a corpse? You notice a sign in the receptionist's office. Do not eat the writing utensils. Not again. 
You wonder what tragic event warrants in the sign. Oh, it's probably Susie coming through here, right? She likes crayons. Loves how detailed it is. It doesn't fit in the slot. It fits, it fits, it fits. Okay, I'm running through. I'm charging through here with my new ID. What the hell is this, 427? There's a bunch of stuff in there. A pair of matching test tubes for you and your significant other. Oh, that's cute. What about this thing? Don't know. What is this? Unsurprisingly, this printer is broken. <laughs> you peer through the microscope. What do we see? You spot a cell experiencing mitosis. Good. That is the right one. All of the surrounding cells cheer and support. That's that's where the cells, uh, they start as one and then they uh, split off. That's, that's mitosis. Very cool. The drain of the sink is clogged with science. Ooh. Doing the dishes without being told? Never! <laughs> if only you had a pack of instant noodles. Ah, that's an Undertale joke. The plates are stuck together. Gross. I don't like that. We'll actually go over here and save, because I feel like we're about to encounter some kind of big nasty ghoulie, right? What's the next boss? I couldn't tell you. I've never played it before. Who knew the steamworks here was so dense? Like, where are we now? I see test tubes, microscopes. Almost reminds me of... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Science isn't my forte. Nice. Awareness. The next boss is insane. Use healing items that heals 30 HP and above. No, I don't think that's necessary, to be honest. Uh, rinse. Repeated. Okay, I'm fleeing. I'm off. Bro, this is really, really random and unnecessary, but I'm really, wearing really loose underwear. So when I walk, my thighs cause friction and it hurts like hell. Not on my nuts, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, you should probably get yourself an aloe moisturizer and then rub that on any of the friction-based parts and you'll probably stop experiencing friction. There you go. You know, I could tell it right now. I don't want to spoil it. Okay. It's the famous blue juice. Is it? The famous blue juice. I'm on it. You peer through the microscope. Just a normal-sized frogget. How the hell? Oh, right. That's right, because they were making a, a bunch of monsters. Let's try and flee from this thing. You escaped. Nice. What about these two test tubes? Foul scents seep out from the test tubes. Gross. I don't want to think about that. You would like some cake, but you'd rather not alert Axis. Risk it? Hell yes! Not enough space. Oh, ha, ha, ha. oh! There's no saving the sink. Yeah, true, actually. All right, someone's ambushed us in the doorway here. Sue's Borg is ready to put your culinary skills to the test. All right, I'm ready. Do you have what it takes to be a monk? Do you have what it takes to be a monk? Tell me, how does one cook this brittle spheroid? Uh, you crack it. You tell Sue's boy to take the egg and crack it over a pan. Ah, oh, we oui. Just a light tap on the edge! Ah! That's okay. Ah! I just got egged! It looks like you're on the chopping block. Okay. Alright, Salzburg. What is the next step? Oh! Wait, oui, wait, oui. Only Master Chef knows the secret to perfection! We're gonna fry it, obviously. You tell Salzburg to heat the stove until the egg begins to sizzle. No, you should have already heated the stove! Get them us! Oh yeah, turn up the heat. We've already cooked this egg wrong. <laughs> As you can very clearly see. Susberg cooks you some spaghetti. Without water. That's this guy's a crap cook. Almost there. The final step is. Uh, season. Always season everything that is not salt onto the egg while it's cooking in the pan. And then after you finish frying the egg, put it on something, put some salad on the side, and then salt both. That is that is how I do it. And it all works perfectly. We season it. Del Susberg to grab some pepper and sprinkle it over the egg. Of course, they must the seeds of flavor. <laughs> too much pepper. Ah, too much pepper. So you know the art of the egg, but what about the test? Bone apple teeth! Okay, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Incredible! Zippy delicious! Compliments to the chef! Alright, that is me! Ho oh, oh. ho! But you, my instructor! You are one of the great talent! Thank you for guiding my spatula! Susberg <laughs> bows to your culinary mastery. Okay, we shoot him in the face. No, I'm totally kidding. We're gonna mercy him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for dessert? Pow! Bro got egged. <laughs> it's a reference to the micro froggets. Oh, okay. All right, time to reset my world, Nudgel. Best of luck. It's the famous blue juice. It was the famous blue juice. Good eyes. Susie would eat that. No hesitation. Yuck. I'd rather fight Frogafin than Glide. 
rather than glide. Oh, glide was um, annoying, actually. It's one of those things, you know. Yeah, it actually is. Okay, that's locked. 98 is locked. What is the naming conventions on these doors? 